G'day Art Adventurers, welcome back to my channel. Today is day 17 of Inktober 2018 with the prompt word swollen. And today I'm going to be trying out an entirely new art medium to me. It is acrylic gouache. I was lucky enough to get these um, in Japan just before I left, but I have been too nervous to try it out. So, fingers crossed things go well for today, but if it's a disaster, I know that I'll at least learn something. So before we dive in, let's talk about the awesomeness of Japanese art supplies and stationery and their packaging. I can read some of the information on here, the colors and things to do with the light fastness and vibrancy, but I think the best thing to do is to just dive in and show you the set. I actually got this as part of a lucky bag and they're called Fukubukuro and they're released every year on New Year's except usually it's fashion and things like that. But for the first time at the beginning of this year, a huge art store began to have a lucky bag and for $50, actually about $45 US or the equivalent, I picked up this bag that had something like $400 worth of art supplies in it. This alone, this set alone probably would cost the amount of the bag. So first of all, you open up the clips and you get um, a mixing tray and a second mixing tray and then some information about the set and how to use it and what sort of media and so forth you can use it on. It's always so great to see the detail that Japanese um, supplies will give you and then information like i said i'm using this for the first time so i'm not really sure about it either um, information about how to create different tones and vibrancy how the color will how the color wheel works if you're just starting off the different colors that are available and awesomely a massive swatch sheet that will even show you how to mix different colors and what ratios to put in to get the different color tones, which is just so amazing. And then of course, the actual supplies themselves. So you get a whole range of different colors and how awesome that they give you two tubes of white where one of them is massive because of course, you always run out of white, or at least I've been told you do. And then look at all these brushes, a whole range of different sizes. Um, I guess this is a mixing tool, a ruler, a little cloth to wipe on, and it all fits neatly into this awesome little tray. And then you can package it all back away and from what I know you don't want to be mixing your watercolor supplies with your acrylic gouache, gouache supplies so this way you can keep everything separate and that includes the brushes. Alright I'm super excited to try this out so let's go on an art adventure. Before we get started, in case you did want to know all the different colors that are in the set, because I think you can also get this now in the US, um, you can see that the, the colors are also printed in English. Permanent red, permanent scarlet, permanent yellow deep, permanent, le permanent lemon, permanent green light, permanent green middle, sky blue, cobalt blue, violet, burnt sienna, jet black and two whites. More than you'd need to create anything that your heart desires. And today I'm going to be attempting to paint for the prompt word swollen this little baby hippo. He's so pudgy and swollen and cute or she actually it's based on the the newborn uh, hippo Fiona and her her mother actually I um, 
used two different reference photos so this isn't actually her mother but you know a mother like hippo that's giving her a nudge to help her to swim this is my initial sketch and then I've transferred the faint lines I'm not quite sure if you can see it to this piece of mixed media paper and hopefully that's going to be enough for me to work on and that the paper will will actually work out. Um, like I said, trying completely new thing here could be a total disaster. Let's see. Okay, let's go on an art pitch. I begin this piece by taping down the paper onto the reverse side of the cutting board. I'm using the Strathmore Mixed Media 6x8 inch paper and then I go into placing down some blue, black, white and purple acryl gouache. Adding a little bit of water, I begin to block in the main darks and lights of the hippopotamus without really any plan or idea of what I'm doing. I realize quite quickly if I add more water, the acryl gouache behaves very much like watercolor, but I'm trying to be brave and try out this medium in the more opaque sort of style that I've seen people use before. So I'm kind of flipping between a watercolor-like approach and then a thicker approach. And then I get nervous when I shift to the mother and definitely put down the first wash more like a watercolor. After that, I take a pause and begin to work more opaque again, laying down the main shadow lines and bringing in some greens and um, trying to block in again the darks and lights. I like the effect of the greens on the mother, so I drop those into the little baby Fiona as well. And here I begin to see that I'm probably best to go for a surrealist sort of approach, where I'm getting the main sort of vibe or um, atmosphere of the hippopotamus, but not trying to go for realism. I'm so involved in how the paints are working and reacting that I completely forget to check my camera and it automatically shuts off every 20 or 30 minutes. So sorry that there's a skip there. You miss a layer of Fiona but you can see the same approach going down on the mother and you can also see that the acryl gouache builds up in its opacity really quite quickly. For the background, I just want to have a simple sort of greenish effect that will allude to water, darker at the bottom and lighter at the top. And once I do that, I decide I want a little bit more variation. So I drop some yellow in at the top and some black and purple down at the bottom to create even more contrast. I was hoping for a very smooth sort of transition with an even background but I didn't find that I could do even washes easily. And I'm not sure if that's due to my inexperience or because the Turner brand of acryl gouache is, I believe, a student grade. I know that the Turner art supplies are made in Japan, possibly part of why they were so cheaply included in this lucky bag, or maybe acryl gouache is just a cheap medium, I'm not sure, but I think from some reading that I've done that they actually perform well in terms of light fastness and general reviews, but I think I might have heard that it can be difficult to get an even opaque layer down, that they tend to behave more semi-opaque, but I'm not sure, and I'm not sure if that's actually just part of how acryl gouache is meant to act. So. I just try to add more layers on top of the previous layers, hoping that things will become more even. And then at one point I noticed some interesting sort of almost dry brush strokes happening and I decided to roll with that and amplify that effect. Once I've completed the background, I realize that it's hard for me to see many of my detail lines. So I take my initial trace sketch and go back over that again to be able to have the graphite lines show back up. And this is where the Inktober part of the piece can come in. I'm using a Pentel pocket brush to lay down my black ink lines here. And this is definitely 
allowing things to become more clear and come together and definitely ramp up that sort of surrealist vibe. You might notice that the Pentel Pocket Brush that I'm using looks slightly purplish on the barrel and that's because it is. I know outside of Japan I think you can only get the black barreled Pentel Pocket Brush but in Japan you can get all sorts of different types. I haven't used a, a brush pen like this for a while. If you've used the Pentel Pocket Brush before you know it's quite difficult to control and has very soft brush, brush bristles. So to do the finest details and the little dots, I switched to my Bimoje Fude brush pen from Kurutake. And then I finished by using a Signo gel pen to be able to put in the lightest whites. And that's pretty much it for this piece. I think it was a really interesting exercise. I still find acryl gouache a little bit scary, but not scary enough to just sit there now, so I'll probably be using it more often, that's for sure. And I think, as you can see as I'm removing the tape, things come together in a way that is quite pleasing to the eye, or at least it is to me, especially for a first attempt. I was really happy with how this went for a first attempt. So thank you for watching and um, sticking with me through this new experimental art adventure. I hope you enjoyed the day 17 prompt of Swollen with this cute chubby little baby hippo and her mother. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the prompt word bottle on day 18. Please like, subscribe and share if you haven't before. And take care. Bye.